Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Raina. If you're new here, then welcome. Today, I'm about to do another empty videos. I've got this whole bag here, and this including a lot of toiletries, makeup, and skincare and stuff in here, and a few bottles in front of me. So if you like a good old-fashioned empty host then there you go and grab a drink let's get started I'm gonna put them into different categories and have the uh, timestamps link below just in case you want to skip particular parts and if you like today's video don't forget to give me a thumbs up and consider subscribe down below I'll see you guys in a minute let's go through all my makeup products because this is the least the number of products that I got here in front of me I've got four and two of them are actually cleansing products one is the face drop green tea herb day rich cleansing cream which I featured in my last one month of uh, using Korean skincare. I found this is a really good gentle everyday daily basis cleansing balm. So if you're using a lot of waterproof mascara, eyeliner is very heavy like glittery eyeshadow look. I don't think it can remove everything perfectly but if you're just like me going into the office every day pretty much avoid a lot of eye uh, makeup products but just the base, a bit of highlighter and blush and all that lip color that's all fine and it is affordable but the face shop in Australia having in physical stores only at certain big cities so it's quite tricky to get but they do have like websites from Amazon, eBay, a lot of them. Uh, it might not be as affordable as some of the local ones that we got. So I don't think I'll repurchase this for now because I just can't get my hands on it for a good bargain price but the product itself is not too bad. The other cleansing one is a cleansing wipe. This is the beauty wipe from the brand, is it the Milk? That's the name of the brand. I received this from the Chemist Warehouse. Is that the Lip Member uh, donation, like charity box every, uh, I think once or twice per year. I always purchase it. I like the whole idea and you receive actual product, something that you wouldn't purchase like this one. Although I don't really like it. It's got that dual sided technology with one side is smooth the other side was sort of bumpers the bump on this wipe is quite big quite harsh aiming to exfoliate it and cleansing your face while you are removing the product I just found it's too much for my skin so I usually use the smooth side and I don't found it's particular better it's just like a very average um, wipe. I mainly end up using it just to remove the swatches on my hands or you know when you're doing your makeup you're trying to figure out which sort of color combination you're gonna go for those times I'll use this one. I barely use it on my face so I wouldn't recommend I wouldn't purchase and if I'm not wrong this is actually quite expensive. One thing good about the wipe is quite large. It's a bigger wipe than the regular uh, remover but I'm like no that's not what I'm after. And two exciting uh, products from cosmetics. One is um, this Lancome Miracle Cushion. I've got in the special edition, which is just an extra sticker on top of it. So it's nothing special, to be honest. And then I think it cost you 10 or 20 extra bucks. I don't know why I went for it. This was a long time ago. Um, I've got in the shade 04 Beige. <clears throat> Absolutely darker than my skin tone. I don't know what happened every time I went into the department store if I get the assistants to help me choose a color they always get a very dark shade for me. This one the undertone is right it's the neutral yellow tone but it's just darker. Once I applied it so I end up using and mixing with other products and it works fine. So I think the Miracle Cushion itself is a good one, but the shade is wrong. So I'm not planning to get rid of this cushion compact just yet because I'm thinking maybe I can get a refill and change a different shade because I really do enjoy the performance. It's a very natural look. I remember when I was wearing it, um, apart from the shades wrong, everyone's complimenting the skin just look like natural, glowy, but healthier and with a bit of coverage. So I'm keeping the case and just get rid of this cushion and this bond here. I've already washed it so many times and this is what it looks like to end up with. So it's pretty worn. The other makeup product is a eyebrow pencil. So I wouldn't be surprised I finished this but I was so happy that I finished a cushion foundation. The eyebrow pencil that I finished is the Hourglass Brow Micro Sculpting Pencil. I've mentioned this in my project pen and it's just 
to a teeny tiny bit left where I cannot put it on my brow. I've actually really, really enjoyed it. If it's not so expensive, if it's not so little, I probably would repurchase it. I do have a tons of brow product left in my collection, but if I ever see this on sale or if I'm going out travel and I don't have much of option and I want to go with a brow pencil that I know it's going to work, quick easy application gives a good performance and a color matching well with my skin tone I think I might go for this one so I guess the only downside is too expensive <laughs> apart from that it's all really good all right so that is all the makeup related product and now let's dive in two of the sunscreen sun cares that I finish up one is the keratin matte look sun care face cream SPF 30 this one I mentioned multiple times before it's not a full matte and is only giving SPF 30 that is why I'm using it during the winter time because there are more chances of having a less UV exposure which you can check on your phone they uh, if you go scroll down on the Apple phone you will have Apple phone on your iPhone <laughs> you'll notice they have that UV index for you so it's just I guess Mind-wise, I'm a bit happier that way to use SPF 30 during the winter time versus in the summer hot days all day. Uh, this is actually the least aggressive formula among uh, all their face cream, like this packaging sunscreen. Um, I don't think I'll repurchase it. I do not like this formula. At least it's not what it claims. I was looking for a matte look, but if you have really dry skin and you want to go for a slightly semi-matte finish, you might think this is good. And even better than the Cancer Console one because that it's a full matte. I don't know if it's a dry skin it's gonna enjoy that sort of full matte finish, but yeah, not for me. The other one I didn't finish it completely, so I'm probably halfway through, but it's expired, and that is why you kind of have too many sunscreen, and that is also why I'm slowing down my reviews. And I got you guys um asking me to do more and I'm like I have those products in front of me and been starting testing them all over again but I just do have a few that I really need to finish up. This is the Banana Bow Sport Cool Zone Instant Cools and Refreshness SPF 50 Plus Spray Sun Care Bottle. <laughs> Um, I've actually used this a few times during the summer, the year before and then this year because it expires sort of mid-year this year so it's around this time of the year. Um, I really like the whole idea of it's really nice and cooling and it did provide a very super cool sensation. It's almost feeling like, like a bit of coldness when you apply it, particularly in the contrast of a really hot day when you're going outside. What I don't like about this one is although it's feeling cool but it's still techy and it's still shiny, still oily. So I more prefer a slightly more dry touch plus cool so I really don't have the physical feeling of sticking onto the things getting hair on or you know get the dirt and just you know get it all junky goopy together um so i don't know if i'll rate purchase this one it is very affordable and i really really enjoy the cool sensation so maybe if we go on holidays we will consider rate purchase um, but if I can find any other better spray bottles that's giving a cool sensation but also not as techy as this, I'll probably go for that. And now let's dive into all the skincare. I have two, four, six, almost like ten skincares used up in the last, since last empty till today. So I'm very proud of myself. First, let's go to the cleansers. I've used up three cleansers, actually four. They're all travel sizes. One of them is a Chinese brand, which I won't be bothered to mention because you guys can't get it. Face Shop Herb Day 365 Cleansing Form. I've done two. One is in the flavor of pomegranate. The other one is the peach flavor here. Uh, both of these are like travel size 25 grams only. I found there's no difference apart from the scent and I, to be honest, I cannot tell the scent very well because peach and pomegranate, both of these are very similar. If I got a, like a apple versus an orange, I can probably tell a bit better. Um, I found these two actually really good. I really enjoyed it. I thought it's gonna be like a liquid soap formula. It actually has a really good balance of the form that it creates. It is rich but yet it's not too much. I sometimes scare forming cleansers to 
been having too much bubbles that I, it takes me forever to remove it or not enough bubbles that I feel like what's the point of becoming a forming cleanser. This is actually right in the middle line, right in my alley. I really enjoy this. I do have a couple of the travel size that I've got when I'm purchasing other products from the face shop so I might use all of them up. Maybe repurchase if I can find it here in Australia. It is not expensive. I know Yet Style takes this as well, but I think what I got for the price is way more cheaper than what I can purchase from Yet Style. So there's also a lot of other really good brands here in Australia locally. For that reason, I don't know when I'm gonna repurchase this, but I do really enjoy both of these. The other one is another travel size product. It's from uh, Palmer's Cocoa Butter Formula. It's their creamy cleanser and makeup remover. This one says it's a lightly forming formula that rinses cleanly to gently removes oils, impurities, and makeup. When they're claiming for a lot, you know it's not gonna work, and this is the case. This is where it's a gentle forming formula and creates no bubbles whatsoever. Feels just like a cream cleanser, and yet it's a little bit oily a little bit of drying it's just a really weird formula that i think i actually might need to use it in the morning versus during the night time i done my um cleansing balm to remove my makeup and then i use this to remove the residual and that sort of waxy oil feeling from the balm or the cleansing oil that i used and I still found my skin's very oily afterwards. I feel this one itself contains a bit of oil on top of what I've already got left on my face. It's a little bit too much. So I did still use it up completely during nighttime after cleansing my face. I did not enjoy the performance and the cleansing ability during the nighttime as my second step of cleansing my face. So I might try using during the morning once I've got the other bottle. I've got a couple here with me just to see if it works a little bit better. But the claims on here is always saying like remove your makeup and stuff which doesn't sounds like something that I want to use in the morning but during the nighttime is not working that well. So yeah, I do not recommend this. I just don't think it's not worth the money and don't even bother it. It's just very confusing product in general. I'm using my Winnie the Pooh cup that I mentioned in my recent shopping haul. I've been really, really loving this cup and I just got those. Currently using a plastic one because I found a whole bag of plastic straws. But you can also pop in the metal one. It's the, actually having the hole here big enough to put the slim one in. Like they have the slimmer one, not the big round ones. Next category are the serums here. I've used up five, but don't get overwhelmed. A lot of these are half bottles because I was testing out Natio, testing out Swiss, testing out Suking the brand, and then I realized when I was moving houses, I got way too many bottles, just they're all there. I thought it's time for me to use these up first before opening a new bottle and also because of the whole changing season, moving houses, changing work, a lot of stress happened to me so my skin was undergoing those stressful time as well. Sometimes I would apply two products at once to either in the morning or the night time but just go with your own personal skin needs. If you don't need that, if it's healthy enough, the one serum sometimes is more than enough. Uh, regardless, let's talk about each individual one. The first one is this Laura Posay Pure Vitamin C10 Anti-Wrinkle Antioxidant re Eating Serum. I've got in a 10ml size, which is a, I believe, a gift from Adore Beauty. When you sometimes purchase, they would give you these ones. I saw Angie reviewed a whole bunch of vitamin C serums using pH paper to testing it out and realized this one's not actually having the right pH. I found it when I start using it. The color itself is always a little bit pale yellow to start with. I know sometimes they make it yellow because it's vitamin C and citrus. Um, but now I've got teeny tiny bit left. It's super orangey. This is definitely oxidized. Um, even when I started, it was like pale yellow peach color. Um, I still just don't feel like it's been working. Um, it is a quite jelly consistency, very not tacky, but you feel like it's a like a jelly texture. Once you apply it on your face, I usually let it set for a few minutes, maybe one or two, before I go for the next one. Otherwise, I feel like it's not fully sink. 
into my skin. Um, Experience-wise, I, I guess feeling-wise is okay because it's also having all those moisturizing ingredients. But just for vitamin C itself, I don't think it is the best one. I've gone back to my timeless vitamin C again. I've ordered one from Yetstar. I'm still waiting for it to arrive. I think over the years after using all those vitamin C's, that is the one that I know it's been working. And then the next sort of category of vitamin C's I really enjoy are those derivatives, which coming from the e.l.f. cosmetics, coming from the ordinary, they are also working fine. But if you want to go for a strongest and yet affordable vitamin C that's containing ascorbic acid, I reckon the timeless is better and the Laura Pose one, not even mentioned, is quite expensive when it's full size purchase from the chemist. Other vitamin C that I finished up is from the Natio Vitamin C Skin Brightening Serum. This is a vitamin C derivative serum and I actually, to be honest, I think I enjoyed this one more than the Laura Pose one. Both of these not giving me a really obvious brightening effect that you would receive from vitamin C. I found moisturizing wise these two are also very similar but I just like this texture a little bit better. It comes with a quite liquidy milky lotion. Once you apply into your face it takes no time to absorb so you can really speed up the whole skincare routine process in the morning because I know in the morning every second counts. There are so many things waiting for us. Getting out the door, get to work, find a car park and all that, get the kids to school, find a car park at school, you know all those little things and every second counts and I found this one absorbs a bit quicker. This is um, vitamin C derivatives obviously but if you're not someone really keen for ascorbic acid or you have very sensitive skins or you're young enough you don't need strong ascorbic acid desperately this is a good one to go for. I actually really enjoy this whole line from Natio Treatments line. I think it's a really good new launch line here with a lot of exciting products that I'm really thinking maybe I will repurchase once I finish the things I've got but I do have a lot been testing out. But my mom also loving this one as well. She said it feels very moisturizing. The other serum from Natio is their Plant Peptide Line and Wrinkle Serum. So this one looks almost the same as the vitamin C, just with different labels. I sort of enjoy how it's looking exactly the same. So when you put it on your vanity, it's very pretty. But also for like my mom or my nan, sometimes when I get them to use it's so similar that they sometimes get mixed all up. To me, this is more still for a moisturizing with a bit of anti-aging ingredients. The other two serums are from previous months of skincare reviews, which I'll leave those links somewhere up and down below in case you want to see my full reviews on them. One is the Sweet Blood Oranging Blood Oranging Blood Orange Brightening Facial Serum. This one's with niacinamide olive leaf extract. is aiming to brighten skin. Skins. I found that this one could be one of my favorite serums from the Swiss brand so far. This one contains niacinamide, some really good ingredients quite high up in the ingredient list. I don't know if I'll repurchase this, but the texture of this one is also quite lightweight. It comes with a slightly... I can't tell the color, but there is a bit of color there. Um, it also contains all these natural delivered ingredients and there's no artificial fragrance, but it does contain a fragrance from natural delivered plant. So if you're someone just against the fragrance in general, this is not the product to go for. I found in terms of niacinamide wise, this one doesn't cause that sort of peeling. Sometimes when you're having a stronger percentage, higher concentration niacinamide, you tend to have that peeling on your face and this one doesn't. If you use the ordinary 10% niacinamide plus zinc 1%, you realize if you do apply too much or if you didn't control the amount very well it caused peeling that happens to me every single time if I use too much so I only only use a little bit of it but with this one I don't have to worry about that I can just go with a full pump or if I feel like my skin's super dry today I can go two pumps as well which means this one doesn't have a higher concentration versus the ordinary but it's also more friendly and easy to use that you don't have to worry if you have a sensitive skin and you can still introduce nice cinema into your skincare routine the last but not least from the serum is the Sukin Hydration Biomarine Facial Serum. This one's also featured when I reviewed the Sukin Whole brand recently. No, not recently, a few months ago now. I found this one is really what it claims. 
and there's not much from the claiming. It says it has an active biomarine blend of sea algae, hyaluronic acid, and maize complex to deep rehydrate, leaving thirsty skin looking plump and radiant for 72 hours. It's quite lightweight. It's actually having a very similar texture to the sweets one that I just mentioned. I don't think it's worth the hype. If you want something like this, just go use a hyaluronic acid from The Ordinary and that's like 10 bucks. This one is uh, 20 something. Even if it's on sale, it's still more than $10. I just found it's a bit of marketing with this whole new line from Suking Hydration Myo Marine line. I've only liked like one product out of all of them so far. Especially once I finished using like the whole bottle, I really found there's only one that I quite enjoying and all the rest are just like, mm, not really. Speaking of the Suki new line, I also used up their Hydro Eye Gel here. This is also saying for dehydrated skin types and is aiming to seriously hydrate the under eye area. And it's a fragrance free water gel formula and also contained with that older technology that I just mentioned. I did not like it, but my mom really, really enjoyed it. I didn't like it that much, so when I got like a little bit left, probably to here, I just pass it on to her. She think even for her dryer under eye, it still gives a good hydration. So I would say from hydration level, this is a pass, absolutely pass. And it is suitable for dehydrated skin. What I began to dislike about this eye gel is if you apply too much, because it's so lightweight, so it's really easy to apply a lot, um, it sort of peels a little bit. With my mom, she doesn't have that issue. So I guess it's more for a drier skin. My skin might not just not absorbing as much of product as I thought it would. For me, I will not repurchase this. I just don't think I like it that much. I can't have an empty without any facial cream since I'm using a five bottle serum. So there's gonna be a some facial day or night cream that I finished up. And yes, there are two. One is a example from It Cosmetics. It's their confidence in a gel lotion, oil free, hydro plumping skin transforming weightless moisturizer gives 22 hours hydration plus. I actually quite enjoyed this one. Um, it is oil free formula like it says i thought it's gonna be feeling too mattifying because i thought this is gonna be like moisturizer slash primer a sun product and those products can be working very tricky with a sunscreen because moisturizer goes before sunscreen and primer goes after um, this one's actually working really well with the sunscreen and it's not giving that film feeling and yet you can feel it's definitely oil free it's not heavy some days i really enjoy a heavier rich cream other days i would prefer this one if it's not that expensive, I would definitely consider repurchase, but because it is price tag where it's not so friendly, and I did not receive that hydro plumping feeling, I just found it's a good, nice moisturizer. So I guess it's only gonna be into my consideration if there's on sale on Sephora. Apart from that, I probably will not repurchase, although I don't think it's a bad product. Like if you like a cosmetics, if you're wanting to give it a go, you like looking for that oil free, I think it does provide everything it says. It's just normal standard moisturization that I receive from a lot of other facial creams as well. And the other one is a Neutrogena Hydro Booster Water Gel SPF 15 UVA UVB protection. I like how it gives a broad spectrum. Some of the day creams only providing one, not the other, which means you cannot just walk outside by itself. I mean, you can, but it's not providing all the protection that you need. SPF 15 is not high, but it's better than nothing. I reviewed this in my SPF uh, day cream with SPF video on my channel a couple months ago. Time just flies. Everything's a couple months ago. I thought I just did that the other day. Um, and I found this one is really oily on my skin. The update is once I get to the winter season, it's not all oily as I thought it was because I tried this during the really hot summer season. I was pretty much wearing singlets every day. 
So during the winter time, that sort of extra shine, I guess my body can absorb more because my skin is a bit drier since it's winter time. So I would actually recommend this during using in the winter versus in the summer. It still leaves a bit of shine there, which I still have an oily skin. My mom's having a drier skin and she thinks the shine is just a nice radiant glow. So to her, it's a nice glow. To me, it's a oily shine finish. So if you're having a drier skin, you probably like it a little bit better. But after it finishes the whole tube and once it enters into winter time, I think I liked it more than when I review it. But everything I said in the review, it still stands. I think the full spectrum and everything is really good. And the whole line of Hydro Boost is giving that hyaluronic acid so you can including this ingredient while you're applying your day cream, which plumps the skin. Miscellaneous skincare. I've got this spot treatment from Yes2 Tomatoes Charcoal Acne Spot Treatment. This one says containing 96% natural ingredients and also containing 2% of salicylic acid. I really did not like this one. Although it seems to having a good concentration of BHA and it's natural ingredients, first of all, the whole packaging is terrible. It is twist and then got a roller. I've got no product out of the roller whatsoever. So I have to falsely open the seal here and then deep pot all of the product into like a separate travel container. And it has a really strong scent. I don't know where is the scent coming from. It doesn't smell like BHA. I do have Polo's Choice BHA and I've used other like BHA, AHA product. It doesn't smell like anything. Anyway, this one doesn't help any of the pimples. Like I used it for two weeks and then there's no difference. Usually when I use a strong one, which I do have the my favorite aspect to stop spot treatment, it works immediately after two, three days. You can tell it's making a difference. This one's making no difference. Strong scent, terrible packaging. Don't know why you need to have this. I received this from Bella Box and I'm so glad I only received this. But I'm also very regretting that I've got this product. It could be any other product and it's going to be better than this. I've got four toothpaste used up and one mouthwash. None of these are very exciting but I want to share everything that I used up. It's just, you know, one of those moments I can talk to you guys in front of camera and I really appreciate it and I want to make it as long as possible. So two from my sister is one of the Oral-B... A frozen princess toothpaste. She hated it first when she was little, but now she loves it. The old favorite is the Maclean's Big Teeth 7 Years Plus. Now she's saying this one is a little bit too sweet and this one having more like mild minty scent. So you know she's growing up and she's getting to more adult toothpaste these days. She's still loving this and we got two backups uh, that I purchased during the pandemic lockdown because it was just so tricky to get this. You can only find this from the pharmacist. So I bought two at the chemist. So she's using those up but she said in the future if I'm gonna get her a new um, toothpaste she'll go for the Oral-B and she wanted frozen. Of course this marketing is very successful. The one that I used up is the Reach toothpaste this is a brand that is made in Korea that I found here at Woolworths. I've got another one that I'm using at the moment. It's a blue packaging. This is a green bottle. This says is a fresh mint 8-in-1 benefits. I found this one is quite good. It's a mild sort of minty scent. I hate a strong minty scent, but I know some of you guys would love a strong mint. So if you're loving that, this is not the one. If you don't, this might be the one to go for and it's very affordable. The other one is I've got from my dentist when I got my checkup. This is the Colgate Total 12 Hours Whole Mouth Health. Um, this is like the original one. It's not for sensitive skins. I really don't have like a love towards to the brand Colgate. Like I don't mind it. Every time I receive from a dentist, I use it up. But I would never purchase myself. I just don't like their scent and I don't like their press tag and I don't think it's making anything difference. Like if I want whitening, white and glow is the one to go for. But their mouthwash... 
I really think it's stand out and better than the others. So this is the peppermint flavor or scent. I've used up different flavors and I come back to peppermint and the green mint. I think these two are what I want. So when I do a mouthwash, I really want to get rid of the scent that I left from lunch or whatever, most likely is onion or like garlic scent. So I want to drink minty. When I brush, I want to clean rather than mint scent, if that making sense. So the Colgate one's really good and I've used it when I had tooth like issues with swelling, with inflammations and it happened to my mom and Nan and I introduced this to them and they all saying this is working super super good for them and it's not expensive at all so we always repurchase this every time when they're on half price sale at the supermarkets you always see me having one or two empty bottles from the mouthwash and for body care wise I've only got two products mentioned which is really to my surprise and what's even more to my surprise is I fell in love with a men's shampoo and hair conditioner this is the clear scalp and hair for men two-in-one shampoo and conditioner I use I first started using this when I went home because I didn't bring my own and I just like oh man god this is so good um, <laughs> I asked my mom if I'm the only weirdo in the house like enjoying a man shampoo and she said no, she loves it too. So the scent, it comes with a quite fresh, um, refreshed scent but it's not gender specific. Like I wouldn't say I can tell this is a shampoo for men. It's very neutral there and what I like about more is it's not so oily. You know some of the shampoo and they're adding all this lovely oil and making it so greasy. Your hair feels too oily, too shiny. Like it feels like you did not wash it properly. This really leave a nice clean refresh. I did use this yesterday and you can tell my hair is looking very clean. It's not that extra extra shine but it's okay. I did not use any other conditioner or treatment afterwards. I just for the price wise those two are more expensive and this is much much more affordable and give you 700 ml and the texture is really creamy as well but not oily and cleans the hair super good. I can't see any flakes left on my hair so I really think it's a, the best supermarket shampoo that so far I've found with such affordable price. So I don't know if I should repurchase this one. I do have the Body Shop one waiting for me to finish which I opened from my advent calendar early this year. Um, so maybe repurchase once I finish those. And the other one is actually a deodorant which I received from Cult Beauty's goodie bag. I don't know the name, like I believe this is the brand name. I personally would not purchase this because it's in a stick form. Not that I'm against the stick form, but if you do laser hair removal then that's fine. But I sometimes do laser, sometimes I do um, sh shaving, so my laser treatments is not like permanent, you have to do it once per month which I have the laser removal machine but I can be lazy at times so if I do shaving and I use the stick you see it have those cuts because you have the little baby hairs coming growing out every now and then even if you just shave it you still have that sort of residual at least I do have those residual and it's not having the strongest um, protection or I guess coverage against all the natural order that you got so if you're exercising and you know it's gonna be a day that you sweat a lot and you're wanting this to help I don't think it's gonna do a good job on a daily basis when I go to work it's fine but just combine all the points together I don't want to repurchase this myself and yeah it's not my cup of tea the last category, the supplements. If you don't like watching supplement empties, then that is the end of the video. Thank you so much for watching. But if you want to know what have you used up and pretty much everything I've mentioned in my previous one. So it's going to be super quick, super speedy. So if you want to stay with me and just, you know, hearing me chitty chatty, then let's go. First is the Q10 that from uh, Costco, their house brand. Kirkland Q10 150 milligram. We start to buy this every time we go Costacol when there's no sale at the chemist as an alternative because it's cheaper on an everyday retail price. However, if you get half price here, it's actually cheaper from the chemist to get some of the brands. Mom says she noticed no difference. Q10 is the only thing that I tried at different brands for her and she only noticed a different when there's a different concentration. Among different brands, if the same concentration, she does not notice a huge difference. Same with Nen. So I guess it's one of those products you just go for the brand that you like or whichever one has a better deal. 
The other one that I think is not making big difference, so I will not repurchase in the future, is the Grape Seed. This is their new formula, which gives like 15, no, 14,250 milligram, like a really high concentration, supports collagen formulation, skin health, antioxidant activity, helps relieve leg swelling. I think my mom's going it only for the leg swelling because she stands for her daily work. Um, but no, I just don't think it's having much of other things to help her daily health and we do not notice a big difference um, and it's very very highly priced as well and very popular in Asia for some reason I guess it's all the antioxidant is you know promoting people to buy it I found it's a little bit of marketing strategy maybe I didn't receive much benefit but I can't tell because you know it could be something that you have to use for years before you can notice a difference and I've received some of the feedback from you know different people saying they notice a difference if they stop taking it so I guess maybe we'll find out once I start purchasing if I realize the skin got fluff then maybe it's, this is working but so far I feel like it's not an essential supplement for us for the household the other thing which are essential um, one is the Swiss calcium and vitamin D. This is the, I don't know, number a million bottle that we've used up. I think I got three in my last empty. This is something that we eat every day. And since I've been going home at the moment, staying with my family, I've got the good habit, like reminded me every day when mom and Nana are taking it. I do found this one's working well and it does help with my knee joint and all that. Just... I guess my bones is needing a bit of calcium. Everyone needs a bit of calcium. And because the work that I do, I never get sunshine five days per week. We start 8.30, finish at 5, before the sun's out, after the sun's sun set. So, yeah, I do think this is helping me personally. And if you're drinking coffee like I do, so you are actually losing more calcium than what you should, then this is something that you should include in your skin skincare supplements category not necessary from the brand but I guess a good calcium supplement is quite important um, the other thing that mom and Anne been taking is the uh, kill oil that I mentioned earlier replacing the fish oil although my dad's still taking fish oil but the kill oil is having double of the strength compared to the fish oil and it actually stays in the body as a oil form longer become it get um, transferred into just the fat that it cannot be benefited for your body so if you want to make the most out of it this is actually better but in return is also more expensive i found this is worth money in my opinion i don't want them eating five capsules of fish oil and then it become nothing but fat i would rather they take expensive ones one capsule or two capsules per day but it's actually working the way it's supposed to be so in my opinion i can sort of justify myself the purchase but you know everyone's different and then the one that i think is very very important for me is the, the complex b and i particularly like the brand Senovis. this is perfectly it says it's for energy support but for me it's more when i'm having ulcer issues when i bite myself accidentally this is definitely helping me through all those times and i really really been in enjoying it. And for my sister wise, she finished three vitamins and they're all coming from the Nature's Way Kit Smart Vita Gummies. One is multi veggie and vitamins. One is the cold and flu immune support. I think I'll just get her using this one for now or this interchangeably but not both of at the same time. The reason behind is they have a lot of overlap. During the winter time, I sort of get her used this. And then this one's only got like 60 capsules in one bottle. So we finish up pretty quickly. And then I just found the stock up ones that I purchased before. And this do have a sugar-free version, which is what I'm getting her to use now. So I'm trying to keep to go sugar-free if possible in the future. But if you reckon sugar-free is too much for the kids to start with a vitamin gummy, this has got the sugar coating and it's got a berry flavor, which I personally really enjoy it and she likes it too so I do really like the brand nature's way when they're having all these lovely gummies including the adults ones making the whole process of taking supplements a lot better a lot easier one supplement that I want her to take every day is the uh, omega-3 DHA fish oil also from nature's way their vita gummies she loves eating eggs and she likes eating like chicken for meat only so she's getting some sort of proteins there but none of these are having that fish 
omega-3 sources because it's good for the brain, for the eye health and general well-being. Even for adults, we take omega-3 and we've been recommended to have them every day. I think it's especially important for her for this time. Yeah, that is everything for today's empty. Well, for the last couple months. I hope you really enjoyed it. I hope I made it clear but also precise not talking too long. I'll see how I go with my editing but if you watch it all the way this far thank you so much for watching and I would like you to stick around and have a look for other updates, all the other. I've got some sunscreen reviews, skincare reviews and maybe consider subscribe if you like my channel. I really appreciate it and I hope you had, had a great day. Let's stay safe and stay positive and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!